Alright, let me share this around first. You guys can hear me. Oh, it's a good. Uh, stream URL. Dash, there you go. Damn. All done. Um, what else? I don't see nowhere else. Dang. All right. So we'll make this one to do. To do. This one in progress. And. Progress complete. All right, that's it. So now let's see. Um, all right, so I need to make models. All right, car. Let's let's split it up. Uh, player units. Player units. Oops, units. And then, well, no, nah, just nah, change that. Delete or edit. Just say units. UN. And next one is um, user interface. Next one is audio. I do it full caps. I don't know. Then menu. I need to make a prototype first before I do anything. Um. All right. What else? UI then some logic so each one of these you can add stuff to all right let's say prototype pro 2 okay is that the basics all right um let's see oh um checklist to type checklist add item um clear mouse input um unit Selection unit movement unit action. All right, and then I guess, uh, unit that I could actually do this right now. Um, I leave it as is. The prototype. Let's move that over to in progress. Even though I didn't do anything yet, but now let's add some units here. Checklets. All right. Um. So the thing is, I want everybody to be like low poly. So they're gonna. They don't. They won't have feet. But they're like we flowed in characters. Um so so uh so uh I need to call it something simpler. Not really so they're not really soldiers. Um sim uh 
<laughs> so simp. Simple. I'll just call it basic, you know. So this one has Jesus Louise. Wait. Oh not the checklist. Oh that's the name of the checklist. Uh, uh red units. And then Oh. Alright, and then uh let's call it unit one for now. I need to give it a name. Unit two and unit three. So one each one of these are better like this. The first one is gonna be better at movement. Faster but weaker. Fast but weak. Um So, whoever that is, hold on, let me see if the chat thing, I don't know why the chat is never up. Um, and speed, but, uh, mid damage, mid damage, um, Keep it like that for now. Um, all right, UI. Okay, so add the checklist elements uh, mouse mouse input. Menu um, what else? Game menu um, I'll leave it at that. I'll figure it as I go. An audio that can wait as usual, put that down the bottom. Logic should be up here. Logic is the obvious stuff. Checklist. I need better names for these. Um, right, let's see. Moving player. Moving units, I mean. Units. Uh, Targeting enemies. Um, that's pretty much it. There's more to it, but I want to keep it simple for now. Uh, oh yeah, enemy AI, enemy AI. So I want the enemy to actually fight back too. So. that there menu what's menu that's pretty much you are right? yeah I'll move this uh, delete how do I remove a card again uh, Alright, I'm gonna leave that for. I feel like it went straight to prototyping. Let's do that. Load up uh, Unity. <clears throat> Practice stuff. New. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this game yet. Um. 
Let's call it Hell Razor. Nah, that's something. That's something that exists already. All right, let's do something random. Game name generator. All right, first name suggests Augustus Justin. I don't use my real name. I don't know why. But Oh, that's name generator. What the heck? It said game name generator. Game name generator. Oh, there you go. Generate subterranean mutant party. Ugh. Cringe. <laughs> uh, generate French maze basketball intelligent in a savagery. Server plateaus. Platypus bastard. Hmm. That sounds cool. Logi volleyball gone wild. <laughs> what the heck are these? Subatomic. Subatomic. Hmm. Should I just say subatomic? Nah. Think it's snowboard versus better. Can't use these. Why do I keep showing these? The person shock off my magic. Neo underwear after the wow. Mario's train in the dark. Ingenious. Hmm. Ingenious. Ingenious. Ah, uh, I don't know. Ingenious bastard. That sounds like something that I heard before. Essential okay, man. I'm like making random stuff from what I see. Like from the past of the show. Monty Platon Wizard Move. What? Romantic Castlevania Crusader. Ember Death. Hmm. Ingenious. My very own Jet Ski Conflict. His horse racing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. King of Spelunky. These are literally names from other games mixed with other stuff. Uh, Cosmic Bible Fighter. Supreme Rodeo. Shalom. Shalom. Booty Kitchen. Alright, I'm gonna go with Ingenious something. Maniac Lizard Dude. Turbo. You guys have any ideas? The one person watching? <laughs> the one year one here. Uh they you can see that anyways. Oh well. Show some rare friends, a Kermit Balloon. Golden Acid in the actor. Alright, I might come up with some. Ingenious. War fighters. There you go. Fighters. I'm gonna move it to H. Uh, Unity. No F. I made a folder for this. There you go. Create. I'm gonna hide all of these. Y'all stop looking at my stuff. <laughs> there you go. Mm -mm. All right. This thing loads slowly. I share this somewhere else. Mm. Share my stream on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Okay. I have to install two things. Um. Pro Grids and Pro Tools. 
So let's go window. Package manager. Little manager. Oh man. Yes, you all. The preview packages. Um, I want to share this to Twitter. Hmm. What do you share links in a story? Oh, I, I know how to do it. Um, my second. Install these since it's gonna take like forever, anyways. Please, the peas for builder. Oh. Um. HTTP dash da -da. Uh, you TU dot e -E dot ek dash I mean underscore C V J Q B I'm literally writing out the whole freaking um oh that's not a look ah oh, crap that looks like a look case oh all right save yeah uh, of course it didn't work. Hmm. That's weird. Um. Just said install. What the heck? Oh, it is installed. I'm just taking forever. I don't share my YouTube. Why not? What is my YouTube anyways? Oh, it is two people. The heck? Uh, I'm trying to find a link for my channel. That actual YouTube link. This might make sense, but I don't know where to find it. On Twitch. Then, hope oh, that's muted. Go to channel. Oh. I know. Uh, oh, good. Install. So I have Pro Builder, then I need Pro Tools, I think it is. Pro Grids, I mean. Install that. It allows me to like put things exactly where I need them to be, if that makes sense. Like snapping. It's like a snapping type of it. Pro Builder is. um can build stuff with it kind of like using blender fully but i don't really want to use it full um all right youtube ah okay on myself copy um Instagram. Oh, blinding myself. Bright, bright white, burning my eyes. I edit from here. Oh, maybe this. Uh, change. What? Login activity. Oh, it is. Yes. 
Hmm. Let's see if that works. How does that work? Oh. I don't want to get distracted by something else. I fixed it. All right, so now I could share this thing on um. installed close all right So, first I need to make, come on, uh, create 3D objects, go build a cube, make it longer, where's the camera, come here big boy. Actually, that's the front. Um, go there, rotate them down. Did not mean to do that. Control Z. Which shows a way to move the camera where where um like where I'm looking. If that makes sense. About there. All right, so let's call this ground. Um, then I can add one. Cube. Try to put zero to so. to get the camera to move over. Grab that cube down there. I don't even know why it's that far away, but zero dot out too. Okay. Let me make this bit of walls. Let's for testing. Turn this on. Says this thing. Scale. There's twelve by twelve. 
12, square 1. Make this 2 by 6. I'm using um, straight numbers so it snaps proper. It's not, still not even that perfect, but oh. Um, let's call this wall. So let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not snapping right. Not snapping because that's an uneven number. One, twelve, twelve. Hmm. Oh, derp, 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 derp. There you go. And on messing with this chat box. I'll duplicate that. And duplicate both of them. Duplicate them again. Rotate them. Some control. And duplicate that. Scale them down on. Dang it. Okay, I need to scale up by one hit point. There you go. Alright, so let's copy one of these smaller ones. Copy. Put it somewhere. Copy it again. Copy it again. Uh, copy again. Rotate on. Come on. Hmm. All right. Uh, Scale them up by. Why is this scale? Oh man. I got six. Or five. Actually, five point five. Uh, I think it's because one of these aren't all the way up. Move this over. Yep, we'll just call it six now. Huh? All right, let's make the player. Screw empty walls to keep it up. Rename. <laughs> oh man, walls. Put all of these in there. Wait. Item. Um, what should be zero? God dang, it's not. Oh, that's fine. All right, now we need to make a player. Make. What should I use for a player? Um, on a second. Object, make that a. Oh, I mean unit, not not player. I use a cylinder. Move him up. I feel like these walls are probably too high. Let's scale them down a bit. On all. 
Yeah, it should be about it. Yeah, need him to touch the floor. All right, so he's gonna be navigation time. All right, so all these walls are supposed to be an obstacle. You get nav mesh. I mean nav mesh obstacle. I make the, the box carve it out. Da 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 da. Renovation. Oh, need that to be the player to be an agent. I call it a unit rename. Unit. And let's see. Where is it? And mesh agent humanoid. Uh, save. Um, over here. That should be the ground. The filter. There is agent. Hmm. Let's bake real quick. Let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't specify this to be the ground. Um. Oh. There. I think it's that thing. Big. Come on, work. Uh, oh, I think it's width is too much. I wish I could see it though. Gizmo. Toggle visibility. Oh. Let's make it less. Eh. There is walkable, non walkable. I don't know. Oh. Huh. Oh, I removed it. Mm -mm. Where is that thing? I've mesh obstacle box. Create layer. Come on. Oh, I'm stupid. Not my static and it's walkable. Okay, now I can break it. Do it. Yeah. Alright, I don't like how the how much space is fixed a little bit. So I go back to the humanoid. It is a humanoid. Scale that down a bit. Uh, big. There you go. God, that's tiny though. All right. So now we got that working. Save. Um, I'm gonna do it on him for now. I have to make a script to 
Get the camera. Agent. That sounds redundant as hell. Uh, Alright, let's get some input. If input the mouse left, actually, yeah, I want to use the left mouse to move the character, then the right mouse will be for selecting. Oh, mouse button, sir. Mouse button down. So it'd be left. Oops. Really have to actually write the letter. No, write the number here. Sheesh. Alright. Try to remember how this ray thing works. Spun down. Alright, so I need to get vector two point equal input the mouse position. Uh, trying to remember how this works. Alright, so I think I have to say camera up oh. re Get equal to cam at screen point three. Just do this oh, redundancy. All right, then mm. unit agent does it destination. I think this uh, works. Uh, oh, wait, no. Wait, what's a ray, anyways? Actually, if target. Oh. I'm trying to remember how I did this before because I was practicing. 
Request pick and target out. Why can't I do this? Hmm. Well, let's just try something, see if this works. That even that doesn't make sense though. Target that hit point. Hmm. Can't remember some. Oh, it's a camera I'm supposed to do. I did do that. Point to re. Turn the re going from the camera to screen point. Hmm. God, I can't remember this thing. Okay, let's do this the hard way. G. Where is it? G. Unit of games. Where's my practice stuff? Practice stuff, practice stuff. Alright, let's open this up. Okay, so say ray ray can screen point. Alright, let's copy this script. I give up. Peace. Alright. Screen numbers to unit agent. So let me explain it. So I'm getting a ray from the camera. It's shooting towards where the mouse was. And then it gets the point that it hit. So in the physics, recast, ray out, hit. I mean, I get the ray. So the cut. Alright, let's just read how it says. Cast a ray from one point, from point origin in direction. Of length max distance against all collision colliders in the sea. So it's pretty much making a ray cast and then it goes to the hit point. It's to hit point. If 
that makes sense. The certain destination to hit by. Let's see if that works. Save all. Um, no, close that, I mean. Uh, that should work. Okay, now I need to grab the camera. Put it in here. Grab the nav mesh agent. Put it in there. That's a nav mesh agent right here. Then play. Nice. For some reason that seemed like a longer way. Oh got that working. Then I need to actually make a proper class. Anyways, the camera isn't 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 even properly set. Where is it? That's what you do. Oh, this is a good thing. Let's play with it a little bit more. All right, this needs some color. All right, so let's go in here. Assets, create folder. All this materials, materials, another folder, all the meshes. I'm gonna bring this in the um, I might use this for the blender. So then I need another one scripts. Let's move this in there for now. Uh, let me do that. All right, so that's in there. I need to make a proper um unit. Does that make sense? So I need to rewrite the whole script. So save. I need it to have states, commands, uh, stuff that don't make sense until we see it works. And I don't need the I don't need the control to be in one unit. I have to put it in the camera, figure out how to send it to the unit. The command to the unit, I mean. I should put it on the camera. Since I wanna control the camera itself too. Uh Alright, let's see. Save all or save. Alright. Let me think, let me think. Oh, I need some water. Alrighty. Okay. Um where's the unit? Alright. So I need to make a class called unit. Unit. Create an ad. So each unit is gonna have a access to put this here. Our right, unit. So let's see unit types. Remember I was in that, so we have one, two, three. No. Private study. Actually, hold on. I want them to be public. Oops. Hide an inspector. Come on. 
I swear to God, this is because I'm using a, the microphones right in my face. I keep pressing on button. Public static. Uh, float. Oh, not float. Int, sorry. Int unit one. I need better names, man. Like grunt. Uh, I'll just say unit zero. I'll make it make sense. Let's call it unit one. I know it's probably confusing a little bit in a way. Uh, all right so public unit type public int unit type I'm gonna leave this default for now unit type equal unit one so the whole point of this is to set up their health and speed and yada yada which is a way to hide this all right let's see stats stats like set up set up Oops, it's gonna be a method of build. Set up. Come on, stop it. Guess I just make the class, make the method of mean. I'm gonna use a switch case thing here. Public each hold points. Public int hold points. Yes, but I'll just leave it simple. Damage. Um, what else? That's pretty much all I need, right? Because I'm keeping it simple. Alright, there's a switch statement here. Switch uh, unit type. Is unit one do stuff then break and copy and paste this copy and paste again change that to two and three what is it Contact what a constant value. Is that constant? Uh, rename unit to unit three. What? Let's copy these. 
I'm doing a lot of copy and paste because I'm lazy. I'm gonna leave everything at one for now. Well, all of these are actually. Let's figure out what the hell that is up there. Alright, let's see. Case unit constant value expected. Field int unit one. Hmm. Oh, something off of this. Uh, hmm. Oh. Do -do -do. All right, what's wrong with this now? Constant value expected. It's a constant value expected. Oh, my bad. Just does does this have final? Ah. Uh. I have to make it private or the static. I might have in these personal problems. Save. What? Unit, unit. Yield into unit, unit two. So we can use this thing. Can I remove this and see what happens? This is not public anymore. Well, those aren't even supposed to be. Add right on the modifier. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Read only. Interesting. Very interesting. Still not working. Jeez. What? Unit one. What's the deal with this thing? Did I use the wrong thing here? Constant value expected. Oh, hold on. Which uh. case C sharp? Basically, switches cannot have evaluated statements in case statements. They must be statically evaluated. And as such, please evaluate case one. Oh. You can only match the constants in switch statement. I need the default successful variable two. Hmm. Really? This 
this is me having struggles with um me coming from what you call it C shirt C the uh, Java I mean um where is this thing window show yourself right. okay I'll just do it the boring long way if else if is equal to unit one do that oops Else, if do that, uh. this over can't believe I have to do that Let's just make this like ten help zone five or six and then another three. I still adjust the speeds as I need to get an idea how that's gonna oh why do I have this in update? Uh pay attention Shibo cut and paste there I can hide them Right now, I'm just having this default to that for now. So, right here, I need a nav mesh, nav mesh agent, public nav mesh. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting that. Oops, control Z. Did not mean to do that. Have states still. Uh, all right. Unit types. Uh, I write states here the whole time. Oh, that's the stats. <laughs> and then states. States. Mm 
I'm just changing this because I end up never using it. Using the read only thing. Well, it's technically is read only. I could just do this. So unit two. Just to clean it up a bit. There you go. All right, states. Public and state or current state. All right, states. What are states? You got a uh, waiting command, I guess. All right, private. Should I make this private? Save real quick. Uh, all right, good. Waiting or standing by, stand by. Moving, attacking. Should be more, but just making it tacky real quick. All right, all right. Current state should be standby. Okay. Okay, I need a second one. And waiting. Waiting command. I mean, command. So the thing is, I want to have um, standby is like when he's not selected at all. And then waiting. Waiting command is when he's the one the character is selected and you're like gonna tell him to move or tell him to attack, you know, stuff like that. Plus, you need him to have a range too. Um, all right, let me take a breather. Yeah, you have, you have attack range, I, right. you know, uh, save. Oh, that should be the actual, that should be a stat too. Public and attack range. That's an actual stat. It's going to be the distance between two points. That's a uh, one valley. Where is it set up? Just stick it right here. Let's call this like six for now. Uh, six. That's in meters, by the way. All right. Uh, 
see. Well, hmm. Should I have a dead state? Nah. I mean, yeah, or not at the same time. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so I need an attack. Alright, I'll deal with states and update metal method. Uh, standby. Hmm, let's see. I need a vector three. Public vector three. I think it's a vector three. Hold on, let me check some. Love mesh. Uh, agent. What did I name that? Oh, the enemy. I need to just name this thing properly. No mesh agent. What? Oh. Uh, target location. Move, I guess. Save. Uh, Think. Okay. Thinking, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> State is currently in standby. Alright, first I need to. Let's get out of here. Alright. Let's make it empty. Where is it? Rename this to. There. Actually, no. Should put it on the camera. Delete that. Rename this to game camera. Game. Cam. Alright. What I should do. Hold on. Create that empty still, then make this be called game cam. Game cam. Then stick him on there. Actually. I mean, this the main camera. I don't know why I messed up the name. name. Stick it on there. Alright, now I'm gonna get this a controller. Player controller. Nope, new one. Player, uh, class call player control. Fine. There. Actually, come in handy. In unit agent. Hmm. All right, let's work on this. So I don't need an agent anymore because I'm gonna get it from somewhere else. Do I need a game object? Actually, wait. Public game object. Uh, let's comment out all of this. 
because I need it, but not right now. Dash in the star. Then a star. Then dash. Oh, look at that. Oh, not there. My bad. Uh, game object. Uh, what am I looking for? Alright, so when I if hmm. Alright. So I need a right mouse button. Mouse right Hmm. Oh, sorry. Input. The mouse button down. And it's one. That's right mouse button. Then need to do the same thing here. Screen point three. Blah 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 blah. With the camera. So I need all of this stuff actually. Uh copy that. So need to get some info from the hit. Um hit dot collider dot game object dot tag equals unit well I'll fix that it should be an if statement I just wanted to make sure it shows up do some stuff actually I could do it from here without I need to do this part so let me go over there and do it before I forget save I always forget tags I don't know why so let's make some tags uh, unit all right save and call this a unit all right Yep. I didn't want all of these to be showing, but I removed the controller from here. Alright. Oh, disconnected. Really? Um. Okay. It's a unit. Let's set active. Set active. I'm actually. Oh no. No, no, no. Make up. I need to mute myself. One second. Um. Uh. Set ready for command. All right. So I need to make this over the unit. So actually, I didn't do that right, but you'll see what I mean. I have to fix that. Public. Void. Set ready for command. So what I'm pretty much doing is telling it to be state. I mean current state equals wait in command. And I could do other stuff here, so I'll just leave it like that. But I need to fix this again. 
So I need to get get component. Oops. Hold on, where is it? Oh, oh. Yep. Unit. So now we know we have him active, and then what we could do mouse down. Oh, yeah, mess him up. One, two. Oh, I'm so sorry. Then, so pretty much gonna do this now. So let's undo it. I should have a. See all this thing again. All right, re tar target re target re hit point. I'm pretty much making new ones. I don't know why. So target re hit point. Let's we'll see. Game object, game unit. I mean, unit. I get component unit. So I'm going to tell it to move the point. Copy. Move. To location, yay! So I need to make that method over by the other place. So copy that. See. Boom. Public void. Move to location. I think it's a victory. Yeah. So now you can see where is it? Have mesh agent. Of mesh agent. Uh, uh, set the ASD Neoshion and location. Don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see. Save. Alright, so. <sighs> Okay, first click. So right click and select the app. The, um, you know what I want to check? Can I cancel a move? Hmm. Move to location. Select unit to command. Hmm. 
move unit to the location. There's more I need to do actually. I need to tell it to either attack something or you know. And I need I need a whole bunch of stuff. This is pretty early. So where's stream boy and girl? Dang, it's been over already. I know this might not work yet, but save all. Let's back up for a bit. There's still problems I have. Main camera. Okay. I'll move this bad boy around. Alright, let's put this position as zero, zero, zero. Okay, that don't make no sense. Move this down. X should be zero though. Z is fine. Alright, so when I move this way around, main camera moves too. Oh, you know what I need to do too? Just make that this dude. Um unit. Uh I don't need that to be public but uh, I need the camera to blurp. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So if you da, 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 da. thinking. Alright, let's just get this to work first. So, I'm gonna duplicate this thing. Control D. And then over here, click again. We have two units now. The thing is, I activate the unit, but I need, it to, I need to deactivate it after it moves. You know what I mean? Yeah, so let's go over by the unit. So check nav mesh agent. Is there a reached thing? Our destination reached or something like that? Oh, I could stop stuff. Cool. get desired velocity current uh hmm. is another mesh is part is stopped. This primarily holds a stop or resume condition. Hmm. Is active enabled? Is on mesh Is off link? Nav mesh owner. Nav mesh next position. Path. Path end position. Break remaining distance. Hmm. Oh, it's a float. All right, let's check this. If no mesh remaining distance less than two or. 
F. Then set the state state current state. So you go done by. All right. I think that should work. All right. Let's try that. Let's rebake first. Um, oh, I need to. What warning field attacking is assigned but value is never used? What? Uh, I used that again. Day. All right, I'm clicking nothing yet. So if I click one of these guys, then press this. Oh, still nothing. On a sign. Dang it. Oh. Uh. Unit. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry. Yeah, I didn't have a yet. I have message and set. Oh, wait. I hate when that happens. Uh, not message. Not message. Rep. All right, let's go. Save. Right again. I know everything's saying zero, but it should be default to stuff. Okay. I'll click on the guy. And click down here. Nope. Nope. Uh, great. Hmm. I need to print um main camera. Unit none. All right. If collider. All right. Debug. The log. Click. Oh, I'm stupid. I was left clicking too. Oh well. Clicked on unit. At least I'll see it now if it does. Save. Hmm. This behavior is missing. What the heck? Clear. Clicked on unit. Okay, that works. Yep. Clicked on unit. Alright, so now I know I'm actually hitting that. So I think I have to do it over. Um, sprint. Uh, where is it? Good mouse. Uh, let's go over here. See debug log. Unit is moving. I should get a name, right? Clicked on unit. Oh, I'm stupid. Run. Yep, it doesn't do it. 
Hmm. Okay, we know one part works, but this doesn't work. So I need this to get active. All right, let's see. Hmm. Let's even check if we clicked. Um. Debug. Log. Debug log saves lives. Left mouse press. Because that's the action that happened out there. So if physics recalls target ray cam screen point false position. Hit point. Oh. Uh, hit point. That point. Uh, let's try that again. Did I save? Yep. Alright. Okay, no luck. Clear that over. That's active. No luck. Hmm. Interesting. I think I know what it is. Probably have to call it in the update method. method. So mouse get work debug log Wait a minute. Oh wow, that's bad. Anyone saw that? I literally have the left mouse click in the right mouse click. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. Save. Oops, I need to close it. Did I save? He said he. Alright, run this again. Alright, right click and left click over here. Sweet! And right click on this guy, left click over there. Yes! <laughs> awesome. What? Oh, they avoid each other actually. That's cool. Alright, it's one problem. Ah, so it still has a reference of the last um unit uh, clicked on. So in other words, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I have to go back to unit, so I don't want it to be able to like click both like that. So move to location. Only do this if if state current state oh my god dude current state equals waiting command otherwise no no moving for you oh god I didn't mean to do that I just want this one Oh, change the state to moving too. State. Uh, current state equals moving. Move min. Okay, got it. Fix that. Uh, 
All right, save all. Hmm. All right, let's try again. Right clicking everywhere, nothing happening. Unassigned reference if variable player control is not assigned. Alright, so click on a unit. Oh, click, clicked on unit. Alright, let's go up there. Come on. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see what's going on here. Look at this. If current state equals weight in a huh. let's check something. So if else uh print current state I know what it is but I feel like still seeing if it actually does that. Copy spread it up. Spread. If Current state equals standby. Standby debug dot log. Uh, game object dot name plus is on standby copy waiting command the last one attacking yeah. I didn't work on that yet but uh, attacking enemy I need to put the object that it's attacking there but we don't have anything yet, so say attacking enemy. All right, save, and it's in the update, so I should just call it every time, which is kind of bad. Uh, play. See. Unit one is on standby, unit is on standby. So that's unit one and unit. It's printing that a billion times. Then unit one, uh, it doesn't change. Hmm. Still saying standby. That's what I wanted to check. It didn't change to his waiting command. All right, let's see.
Uh, I, I think the reason it's changing is because of this thing remaining distance. Okay, I need to do if oh no, sorry. Uh, current state to do a double check here state equals moving all right moving and can i just type and no to use the and sign whatever no yep and then uh, restrictions blah 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 Oh, actually, to do the R here, R current state equals waiting command. Press enter, save. Alright, let's see if that did the trick. No, it didn't. Huh. So it literally didn't even do this part. See if it at least say it once. Waiting on command. So it does call it once and then go back to the other move. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, I have an idea what it is now. Come on. So this gets called once. So current state equal waiting on command. And then. Uh, the thing is it changes back because of this crap hmm ah, let's remove this that's for now how do I auto comment again? Control space or shift space? Nope, wasn't that one. And let's leave that out for now. Well, see, go. In. Go back here. Run. See? I don't know what I'm saying, man. Hmm. So I left click. Oh, huh, that fixed it. Don't know how, but. Oh, I don't know what I did, but it worked. Alright, now I need some controls for the camera. Hmm. I need the mouse wheel to scroll, to zoom. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Uh. So tomorrow I might make it, make them attack stuff. And I have to make a menu for that so I could choose what I wanted to do. 
So I click on move, then pick where to move to. Or I could just hover, make the mouse hover over the where who I want to attack. Yeah, that's easier. You know what? I could just do that now. Now let's make something for it. Uh, actually. That's a lot of work. Alright, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Alright, guys. Bye.